So you know how after uh, George Floyd was killed and you, you had all these uh, protests, nationwide protests in, in, in all 50, 50 states, you had all these companies coming out and changing their logos in solidarity with Black Lives Matter, right? Just to remind you very quickly, for example, uh, Twitter, they, they changed their logo, right? Uh, here are a bunch of brands that did it. Uh, you know, they, they all started basically a giant campaign for this, right? And Ben and Jerry's, all, all of them, okay? Loyal, et cetera, et cetera. They all changed their logos. They all shown solidarity. Uh, YouTube as well. Everyone. And what I find really interesting is that, you know, they, they claim to be in solidarity with Black Lives Matter. They, they, they say that they're against uh, police brutality and uh, racial injustice. And you, you go to report on it. And this is what happens, right? So I'm doing this is again, this is back from when? From August? Right. About Jacob Blake. When I did this video about Jacob Blake, they completely removed it, like completely gone. Like, you know, just from the get go, it, it's, it's uh, automated. Right. And then. Uh, again, over here from a few days ago. When I did this video about the new war on terror, right in, in that video, I showed you the uh, protests again from the summer, how. There was such a stark difference between the way. Black Lives Matter protesters were treated, you know, they were completely brutalized, tear gassed, beaten, you name it, run over with cars, uh, just horrendous, horrendous stuff, right? And then when you look at the events in the Capitol, I mean, it paled in comparison. It paled. They were, you know, the, the people taking part in this insurrection were practically ushered in and welcomed in. So I was trying to highlight that. And again, they age restrict and basically censor the video, which is ironic because I was talking about censorship in that video. So my point here is that, you know, all these companies, specifically the, the, the tech companies, the social media companies, they claim to, to, to be against police brutality and all this stuff. And when you try to expose police brutality, you try to report on it. Oh, no, you can't do that. We're age, restrict, we're age restricting and censoring this. What the fuck? No, no, pe people have to see this because otherwise they won't understand the gravity of it. It, that's the whole point. It, it, I mean, make your mind up. It, you in solidarity with it or you're not in solidarity with it? I mean, this is just more performative bullshit from these companies, right? It's like when they put up uh, their logos with pride colors. I mean, they, they pretend to stand with, uh, you know, a certain demographic, certain groups, certain minorities, just to make money off of them and profit off of them. And when you actually try to do something. Oh, no, we can't, we can't have that. Well, we, we, we stand in solidarity. Oh, no, not like that. But not, not in that way. I mean, that's just ridiculous. If, that's just absurd. Not, not to mention, like, I, I can't do my job, obviously, right? Because I'm trying to report and it's like, nope. So I just wanted to point that out, right? The, they'll put... BLM in their bios or, or change their logo, but you know, you try to actually talk about it. You're not allowed to. Nope. Wait, so basically they're, they're doing the, the, they're doing a favor for the cops. They're doing a favor for the establishment. And this, this expands, I would say also into imperialism, right? Because, you know, if, if you, if you cover up the white supremacy domestically and, and, and abroad internationally in war zones and at home, you're helping the same people committing those crimes. You're helping the perpetrators because now people are not aware of what's going on. They can't see the reality of it. So, so great job. Well done with that, right? 